Hi, we're going to take a look at doing the problems in Chapter 8, where it asks us to find critical values or to deal with finding t statistics or things like that or p values. So we're going to take a look at a similar problem here. This is from the homework section. It says use technology to find the p value for a two tailed test. n is 29 and the test statistic is negative 2.925. So we're going to click on Stat Crunch and we're going to go to our t calculator. So just like you went to the calculators before for binomial and classome, this time we're going to go to T. And we're going to enter the values we just read in the problem. Now, the sample size is 29. Remember, our degrees of freedom is one less. It's 28. And then our T statistic is negative 2.925. So we're going to enter that into the appropriate box. Choose less than. And click compute. So this shows us that the chance of getting a value below a t value of negative 2.925 is 0 0.003374. Pretty small percentage chance. 0 0.33%. 0 0.34%. If you look back at the original problem, it said that this is a two-tailed test. Now keep in mind that a two-tailed test means that you are looking at both ends of the distribution. However, this diagram is only looking at one end. So you're going to take this p-value and you are going to double that p-value for your final answer. So it's 0 0.0034 and 0 0.0034, or you will type in your answer 0 0.0068. You could have a similar sort of exercise when you're dealing with chi-squared. So we're going to go take a look at the study plan to pull up a similar type of question. It shows up elsewhere, but it's just faster to find it this way. We're going to take a look at our question here. Find our test statistic. So it says calculate the test statistic for this Find the critical values of chi-square and use the chi-square distribution table. In this case, of course, we're going to use software. To find the critical values of chi-square, this is a one-tailed test. The claim here is that sigma is less than 18. So this is a one-tailed test, not a two-tailed. So we're only going to be looking at one n. The area is 0 0.05, and the sample size is 16. So we're going to go back to our stat crunch. Going to go to our calculator, going to go to chi squared, and in this particular case, our degrees of freedom is 15, and we're looking at the bottom end, because it said the claim was less than, and we want to make sure that the bottom end only has a 0 0.05 area, so the chi squared value we would be looking for would be a value less than 2, 7.2609. So we're going to go back to our homework page. And we would enter that this then into the box for the critical value of chi-squared. Now here it's asking me for the computed value of chi-squared. And to complete this problem, I would have to complete a hypothesis test first to answer this step to get the test statistic. And then enter the critical value that I just found by using StatCrunch.